We have already seen integration of trigonometric functions as sin x, cos x, sin square x, cos square x, etc. Now we consider integration of the form integral sin raised to nx dx. For example, integral of sin cube of sin raised to 4 of sin raised to 5 of sin raised to 6 and then sin raised to nx dx. Or integral cos raised to nx dx. Cos square x, cos cube, cos raised to 4, cos raised to 5 x dx, etc. Then integral sin raised to nx dx and the cos raised to nx dx. Integral tan raised to nx dx. Known as reduction formula. Reduction formula. That is, if in is equal to integral, so you integral sin raised to nx dx, then we represent in in terms of in minus 2 and by in minus 3, etc. Reduction method. For example, this one. Then reduction formulae for trigonometric functions. Reduction formulae for trigonometric functions means the reduction formulae for the integral sin raised to n x dx. E value area when the number of n equal to 5 on the sin integral sin raised to 5 x dx. Put n is equal to 5 in this result. So then the cos raised to n x dx. Cos in the powers or not integrate the other markers. So then the tan in the powers. Tan raised to 5 or tan cube or tan raised to 7 or tan raised to 10x in the x of integrity of the model. If we know the value of sin raised to 10x in the x, to find the sin raised to 7x in the x, I integral sin raised to 7x in the x in tan, then we need to put the 7 to 2. Hey, that result, the value of integrals of the form are known as reduction formula. And first one, integral sin raised to 10x in the x. Let this integral value is equal to i n. That is, i n is equal to the integral sin raised to nx in dx. But m on i n, sin cube on i n i 3. Sin raised to nx in dx, integral of sin raised to nx in dx is equal to i n. The sin raised to n. i 10 means integral sin raised to nx in dx, but n is equal to 10. Or i n. Then what is sin raised to nx? For example, the sin raised to 5 on the area. Sin raised to 5 in a sin raised to 4 into sin x theta. For sin raised to nx is equal to sin raised to n minus 1 x into sin x theta. Sin raised to 10x aya sin raised to 9x into sin x. Sin raised to 6x aya sin raised to 5 into sin theta. Similarly, sin raised to nx in dx is equal to sin raised to n minus 1 into sin x in dx. Take this as the first and take this as the second. The integration type parts. What is integration type parts? First into integral of second. That is sin raised to n minus 1 x into integral of second, that means sin x. This is first function. This is second. Then, the first into the sin raised to n minus 1 x into the first function. This is first function, that is second function. This is first. This is second. Then first into integral second x, so integral of sin x, what is integral of sin x? Minus cos x, minus integral of derivative of first, derivative of sin raised to n minus 1. n minus 1 is there, derivative of the n minus 1 into sin raised to n minus 2x, u raised to n minus 1. u raised to n minus 1 derivative of n minus 1 into u raised to n minus 2 sin raised to n minus 2x into u with a derivative, sin x is a derivative of 6. Now, derivative of first. u raised to n minus 1. Derivative n minus 1, u raised to n minus 2. Into derivative of u, sin x is a derivative of 6. And derivative of first, into integral of sin x. Integral of second is, integral of sin x minus cos x and x. Now, derivative of sin raised to n minus 1 x is equal to u raised to n minus 1 n minus 1 will be u raised to n minus 2 into e u sin the derivative cos that is this is equal to minus minus 1 minus sin raised to n minus 1 x into cos x this minus is a minus minus into minus plus n minus 1 into integral of sin raised to n minus 2 x into cos x into cos x that is cos x into cos x cos square x cos square x is equal to 1 minus sin square x. Cos square x is equal to 1 minus sin square x. 
the x. This cos x into cos x cos square cos square is equal to 1 minus x square. That is again is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1 x into cos x plus n minus 1 into in the integral integral either one to one and multiply that integral sin raised to n minus 2 x into x minus if it multiply it sin raised to n minus 2 into sin square a raised to m into a raised to n a raised to m plus n either n minus 2 plus 2 n minus 2 plus 2 is equal to n and the integral sin raised to n x into x sin raised to n minus 2 x into 1 integral sin raised to n minus 2 x sin raised to n minus 2 into sin square m plus n, a raised to m, a raised to n, a raised to m plus n then sin raised to n minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 more integral sin raised to n x and x that is i n is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1 x into cos x plus n minus 1 into this n minus 1 into what is integral sin raised to n minus 2 x and x Integral sin raised to n x in the x i in the middle. When n minus 1 i, i n minus 1. But n minus 2 after that is not an i n minus 2. This integral value is equal to i n minus 2. Minus n minus 1 into this one. Minus n minus 1 into what is integral sin raised to n x in the x is equal to i n. That is i n is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1 x in the cos x plus n minus 1 into integral of sin raised to n minus 2 x and all of i n minus 2 i n minus 2 means integral sin raised to n minus 2 x in the x minus n minus 1 i n e minus n minus 1 i n equal to that is i n plus minus plus n minus 1 i n is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1 x into cos x plus n minus 1 i n minus 2 then i n our side of the third i n 1 plus n minus 1. 1 to 1 to cancel here. We equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1 x in the cos x plus n minus 1 i n minus 2. The one to quadrat that is n into i n. Or i n is equal to. What is i n? Integral sin raised to n x in the x is equal to. i n up of the middle. n into i n plus 1 to minus 1 cancel. But the n i n. Or i n is equal to integral sin raised to n x in the x is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1 x into cos x by n plus n minus 1 by n into i n minus 2. What is i n minus 2? i n minus 2 is equal to integral sin raised to n minus 2 x in the x. It is sin raised to n minus 2, i n minus 2 will be equal to i n. What is i n? n into y n minus 2 would be equal to i n. N minus 2 to the other way, n minus n minus n minus n minus 2. Now, I n minus 2 is equal to, there was an input, minus i n raised to, I then add n minus 1 to the other, n minus 3 x into cos x by n minus 2, plus n minus, on the other way, n add n minus 1, n minus 2 of n minus 3 by, n minus 3 by n minus 2 into I n minus 4, I'm going to be given. That is i n in the value index of i n minus 2. i n minus 2 in the value index of i n minus 1. That is integral sin raised to n x in x is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1 x into cos x by n plus n minus 1 by n into i n minus 2. In equal to n in the value n minus 2. In the value n minus 2 that is the i n minus 2 in the value. That is i n minus 4 in the value. That is going to be taken. That is reduction for it. Okay? We will see the sign raise to n x in the reduction formula. We will see the proof in the proof. We will see the reduction formula in the same way. That is, i n is equal to integral sign raise to n x in the x is equal to minus sign raise to n minus 1 x into cos x by n plus n minus 1 by n into i n minus 2. This is what we can do in the cos raise to n x in the x. It's okay. Let's not say we see with the total of it, let's say we see. We have seen reduction formula for integral sin raised to nx dx. That is integral sin raised to nx dx for i n is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1x 
in the cos x by n plus n minus 1 by n into i n minus 2. So again, now the example of the for example question evaluate integral sin base to 6x dx. Integral sin base to 6x dx. That means this is an even number. Okay, sin base to 6 or sin base to 4 or sin square or sin base to 8. Okay. Well, then we have i6. i n is equal to integral sin base to nx. Therefore, i6 is equal to integral sin base to 6x dx. That is equal to minus sin base to n minus 1. Here, 6 minus 1, 5x into cos x by 6. Sin base to n minus 1x into cos x by n plus n minus 1, n is equal to 6, 6 minus 1, 5 by 6, i n minus 2, i n minus 2 is i 6 minus 2, i 4. Okay? That is i 6 is equal to integral sin raised to 6 x in x is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1, sin raised to 5 x in the cos x by n 6 plus n minus 1, n is equal to 6, so 6 by 1, 6 minus 1, 5 by 6, i, 6 minus 2, i4. Then similarly, find i4. Then similarly, we have i4 is equal to, what is i4? The i4 the value integral uh, sin raised to 4 x in x. Similarly, the sin raised to 6 x in integral is equal to 5 by 6 in the integral sin raised to 4 x in x. Then, i4 is equal to integral sin raised to 4x dx is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1. Here n is equal to 4. 4 minus 1. Sin 2x into cos x by n. Here n is equal to 4. By the certain of n, 4 over the minus sin 2x cos x by 4 plus n minus 1. n 4. 4 minus 1, 3 by 2 into i 4 minus 2. n minus 2, i 2. Second, I'm going to do the i4 the value by i plus option d. Then what is i2? The next is i2. i2 is equal to integral. Uh, n is equal to 2. Integral sin square x and x. Sin square x and integrate here. And the other direction formula is applied in the other direction. What is sin square x? Integral sin square x is equal to. Sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x by 2. Brought to the end. Sin square x is equal to sin square x, sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. No matter how much you are doing. Now this is sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos 2 x by 2. Cos square x is equal to 1 plus cos 2 x by 2. Sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x by 2. Therefore, i2 integral i2 is equal to, this is equal to i2 is equal to integral sin square x in x is equal to 1 by 2 into integral uh, 1 dx, then 1 into dx minus integral cos 2x in dx, minus integral cos 2x in dx. That is 1 by 2 into x integral of dx is equal to x minus integral of cos 2x in dx sin 2x cos u integral sin u e 2 x in the derivative 2 and 2 in the derivative that is i2 in the derivative i1 in the derivative sorry i4 in the derivative that is i substitute here that is substitute here for 2 and the 3 gives the result to 1 i6 integral sin base 6x in the x is equal to minus sin raised to 5x in the cos x by 6 plus 5 by 6 in the i4. What is i4? i4 is equal to this value. The minus the i4 the value the 5 by 6 into i4. i4 is equal to minus sin 2x into cos x by 4 plus 3 by 4 into plus 3 by 4 into i2 i4 divided by 5 by 6 into i4, i4 is equal to this value, i4 is equal to plus minus i2 of x in the cos x by 4 plus 3 by 4 into i2. That is, i6 is equal to integral sin raised to 6x in dx is equal to minus sin raised to 5x in the cos x by 6 
minus the phi by 6 in the plus 4 minus phi divided by 24 sin cube x in the cos x next plus phi by 6 in the this one phi by 6 in the plus 3 15 divided by 24 15 divided by 24 i2 now the phi by 6 in the 3 by 4 15 divided by 24 in the i2 what is i2 i2 is equal to this value uh, 1 by 2 into x minus i to x by 2 x minus i to x by 2 5 by 6 into 3 by 4 15 divided by 24 into i2 i2 is uh, equal that is equal to minus i plus 5 x into cos x by 6 minus 5 by 24 sin 2 x into cos x is uh, 15 divided by 48 x is 15 by 24 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 4 that is 15 divided by 96 sin 2 x plus 15 by 24 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 x then 15 divided by 48 into x this is 15 divided by 32 into 24 4 into 24 minus 15 divided by 96 sin 2x plus now, reduction formula and then, then i6 is the value in terms of i4 then i4 is the value in terms of i2 i2 is the value and the value is substitute this is reduction formula integral sin raised to nx in dx now this is an example where integral sin raised to nx in dx where n is n and you said even 6 if 8 is not going to be 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 8 in terms of i6 i6 is not going to be 8 is not going to be 8 if i4 is not going to be 8 this is i4 the i4 is equal to the i4 is equal to the i4 is equal to the i4 second now please then save here save here then don't take my data Next, we consider in the reduction formula integral sin raised to nx where n is an odd number. We have already seen n is an even number, sin raised to 6x is either. Then, at the end, n is an odd number. Sin cube, sin raised to 5x, sin raised to 7x, sin raised to 9x. Then, sin raised to 9x are you doing? Sin raised to 9x is one number. Either they don't sin raised to 7x in a time stake. Then, sin raised to 7x is one number, sin raised to 5x. Then, they are not doing it. Second, that means integral evaluate second question evaluate question number two evaluate integral sin raised to nine x dx sin raised to nine x dx means sin raised to nine x sin raised to nine x is an odd number nine is an odd number we have already seen even numbers then sin raised to nine x and sin raised to an odd number then what is Integral we have i9, i9 is equal to integral sin raised to 9x dx, sin raised to 9x dx, that is n is equal to 9 minus sin raised to n minus 1, 8x into cos x by 9 plus n minus 1, 9 minus 1, 8 by 9 into i n minus 2, n is equal to 9, i minus 2 means i7. That is i9 is equal to minus sin raised to 8x into cos x by 9 plus 8 by 9 into i7. The next we write i7. What is i7? i7 is equal to integral of integral of sin raised to 7x into x. Then put a is equal to 7 in this result. i7 is equal to minus sin raised to n minus 1. n is equal to 7. Sin raised to 6x into cos x by sin raised to 6 x into cos x by 7 plus plus n minus 1 7 minus 1 6 by 5 7 into n minus 1 by n 7 minus 1 6 divided by 7 into i n minus 2 7 minus 2 i 5 ok then we write i 5 i 5 is equal to put n is equal to root 5 that is minus sin i5 sin raised to 5x dx 
Maybe if I buy minus I will raise to 4x into cos x by 5 plus n minus 1 n minus 1 n minus 1 in the value to n minus 1 is equal to n is equal to 5 another 5 minus 1 4 divided by 5 into 10 4 divided by 5 4 divided by 5 into derivative i n minus 2 i n minus 2 means i 5 minus 2 i 3 Second, I3. Other result is there. In the middle of the end, in the I3, what is I3? I we have I3 is equal to minus here. Hmm. Sin raised to n minus 1. That is sin square x into cos x by 3. Sin raised to minus sin raised to n minus 1, 3 minus 1, sin square x into cos x by 3. Plus n minus 1, what is n? 3, 3 minus 1, 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 into i n minus 2. i n minus 2 means uh, 3 minus 2 i 1. Then what is i 1? i 1 is equal to integral sin base 1 x in x. What is integral sin x in x? What is integral sin x in x? Integral sin x in x is equal to minus cos x. Minus cos x. Then you have to say that. Substitute here that when the part is going to 1 is the result to 1 gives 6 is the result to 1 gives integral i9 is equal to integral sin raise to 9x in dx is equal to like i9 integral sin raise to 9x in dx is equal to i9 is equal to minus sin raise to 8x into cos x by 9 plus 8 by 9 into i7 what is i7? The i7 is equal to minus sin raised to 6x into cos x by 7 plus 6 by 7 into i5. So again, that is, is equal to minus sin raised to 8x into cos x by 9 plus 8 by 9 into this one minus 8 by 9 into 7, 63 sin raised to 6x into cos x, sin raised to 6x into cos x plus plus 8 by 9 into 6 by 7 into i5 then 8 4 by 48 divided by 63 48 by 63 into i5 what is i5? i5 is minus i raised to 4x into cos x by 5 plus this is 4 by 5 into 10 4 by 5 into 4 by 5 into i3 what is i3? i3 is equal to minus 11. 4 by 5 into i3 the value minus sin square x into cos x by 3 sin square x into cos x by 3 plus 2 by 3 into i1 that is this is equal to radical integral of the length of cos x outside the term in other way that is i9 integral sin raise to 9x and dx is equal to minus sin raise to 8x minus sin raise to 8x is equal to minus sin raise to 8x minus sin raise to 8x into cos x by 9 minus 8 by 63 sin raise to 6x into cos x plus 48 by 63 into mother is a minus sin raise to 4x into cos x by 5 plus 4 divided by 15 is 4 by that is this is equal to minus 4 divided by 4 divided by minus 4 by i5 15 15 sin square x into cos x by 3 sin square x into cos x plus 2 by 3 plus 2 by 3 into i1 and then if you want to multiply that and then you know 2 into 4 8 divided by 15 10 plus 8 by 15 8 divided by 15 then 4 by 5 into 2 by 3, 8 by 15 into i1. What is i1? Minus cos x plus i. Oh, i9 integral sin raised to 9x in dx is equal to this value. Minus sin raised to 8x in the cos x by 9. Minus other i7 to the value. Mark the i7 value. i7 is equal to fresh i7 as you will change the value. i5 on it. Here we have i3, i5, well, 
Then minus 8 by 63, minus 8 by 63, side by 6, 6 into cos 6, plus 48 by 63, you want the 48 by 63 into minus side by 4x into cos 6 by 5, plus 4 by 5 into 4 by 5 into i3, i3 the value, sin square x into cos 6 by 3, plus 2 by 3 is multiply by the equivalent and minus 4 by 50 sin square x into cos x either plus 4 by 50 and then add and add and add and add and add i1 i1 minus cos x plus this is i9 integral sin raised to 9 x into x okay and then n is a given number and n and over here Similarly, we find integral cos raised to nx and dx n e1 and o2 and that. Now, this is the same here. Same here. Now, if you want to take it down, then I can take it i3, i5, i7, i9 and i1. If you want to take it down, then i8 and i2, i4, i6 and all of it. This is the same here. Now, I'll take it down. 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 This is the same here. Same here.